Okay, so we're talking about all the great work you do, and we could talk about that for hours. You do so much incredible work, I could nerd out for hours, but I wanna ask you some of the questions about Melinda, you know, underneath all of that work, because your work is, Exhaust, it's important and it's inspiring, but let's be real, it's exhausting. It's energetically draining, probably. Oh, how does Melinda Gates recharge when she's not trying to save the world? Well, I can tell you it's pretty different in this pandemic time that we're in. I am finally catching up on all those Netflix shows that everybody had been told me about for years. <laughs> like what, what have you been watching? I have, I finally have been watching The Affair, which is so good. I mean, it's years old, but I'm finally catching up. And then of course, when Bridgerton first came out, I was just on that from the get-go. <laughs> this is the one common thread, everyone. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter if you're a reality star, if you're Melinda Gates. It, everyone's just like, Bridgerton. I got, I've been watching Bridgerton. I totally. <laughs> and sometimes a second time, I have to admit, too. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Uh, now, a lot of this work seems so overwhelming, and sometimes it can feel like, how do I, what can I do in my daily life to help the cause? So I want to ask you, for our viewers watching at home, what are some things you can do on a daily basis to help gender equity, to empower women, to create future girl bosses? Yeah, I would say first look at your home, and if you're married, do some of the things I talked about. Think about who's doing what in the home, and who's doing the dishes, who's doing the laundry. Should it be reassigned? Um, so look at that. I would say absolutely in your workplace, demand transparency and say like, how many women are in leadership? And if there aren't enough women in leadership, speak up, hold the company accountable. Bring women into your network, help them find good jobs, sponsor them into roles, and then even speak out, speak out in your community. The way you vote for a certain member of, of a state house or for the federal level of Congress, they make a difference on these policies. And so you have to look in all of those places because there's lots of opportunities. Melinda, what does being a boss mean to you? Oh, it means that you have your full voice and decision-making authority and that you use it on behalf of other people. And when you do that, I think you're a boss woman in the world. And you are, in fact, a boss woman in the world. Thank you so much for inspiring us and for honestly being so vulnerable and open. If you want to get your copy of The Moment of Lifted, it's available now by Melinda Gates. Make sure you check it out. You are incredible. I want to nerd out with you every day of my life if I could. I will only dream of doing this. <laughs> well, thanks for having me and thanks for the time. My 18 year old is going to be very jealous that you're not her bestie and that um, I am now. I will be her bestie. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. If you click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them.